What's going on team? Welcome to another video. Uh, today's an exciting one because we are going drifting tonight at the Friday night drift event. But I'm playing double duties today because we are also running the stall for my business or mine and Tara's business, Two Step Garage. So we've got all the stuff ready to load up. Uh, but right now we need to go and grab some E85 for the race car and uh, get the car loaded up on the trailer and head to the event so we can set up. It's going to be a crazy day. It looks like there's going to be a bunch of people at this event, which is awesome. It's always good to see people coming out and getting into drifting. But uh, yeah, let's go get some E85. Ooh, there's the car. She's all ready to go. Cannot wait to drive this thing with a new lock set up. Ah, she's looking fresh. Ew. So my favorite thing about these events, the Friday night drift events, is that there is just no pressure at all. Uh, it's the best atmosphere, so many people, no form of competition, it's just literally drifting for a crowd of people, entertaining people, taking people for passenger rides, uh, which is, you know, the best way to introduce drifting uh, to new people, but also just a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, so this vlog will be a little bit different and then I'm going to try uh, and capture a bit of uh, what these events are like, not just my driving, but uh, just everything that's going on at the event. So hopefully you guys can get a feel for, for what it's like, uh, and I can get a little bit more creative with this video, uh, instead of just doing the straight vlog style, which is rad. But yeah, I cannot wait to drive. Fingers crossed that the car goes well, uh, and that we don't have any problems after dialing back the power. Just so pumped, cannot wait. Alrighty. We've got a 85 I spilt a little bit in the car, which is the best ever because it smells so good. So now my car smells like E85. Unfortunately, I lost my wee jiggle tube. I left it at the dyno, so we're going to have to use this setup. So uh, pray for me, because I don't know if it's going to work. So that was pretty much successful, although apparently when you spill E85, it does weird shit to the paint on your car. So that's a new one. It's all good though, I need to respray that the wire body on this pit, but anyway. Definitely getting super tired, almost time. This, even this patch right here is I literally, is just fiberglass and bog. This thing's been in like four pieces, like three times, so it's probably time I order a new wide body kit, but uh, we'll push this one for a little bit longer. Drift life, baby. So we're just getting loaded up for the event and for this type of event I only take minimal things uh, because it's a five hour event I don't take a spare gearbox or spare diff or anything like that uh, because I'm not if I break something like that I'm not going to change it at the track at a five hour event so we've just got axle stands, a jack, we've got spare axles because they're really easy to swap out, some water and all the tools and cable ties and stuff and a spare helmet for anyone that wants to come passenger ride. So super basic setup, but yeah, don't need a lot at a five hour track day, uh, but it is open track all day, so no sessions, which means you get a maximum amount of track time within that five hours as long as your car keeps going. So fingers crossed that this thing just keeps going all night long. Tara's here to help us load up. Woo! Yay! Rain is just starting to come down, but it's only supposed to rain for a little bit before, so hopefully not while we're on track. It sounds so good. Yeah, it sounds crazy, yeah. And it looks so good. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my gosh, you're finally like a growing up drifter. Kinda. <laughs> Let's see if it actually works first. What are you most excited for for tonight, Tara? Um, probably to just be in the car while you touch butts with another car. Hopefully. We're on our way to Friday Night Drifts at Calder Park Raceway. I'm excited. Tara's excited. We're all loaded up. It takes quite a while, especially when you've got the two-step garage stuff as well as the car stuff. But uh, and our car's full of it. Our car is literally packed to the brim with stuff, but um, it's kind of dark and gloomy at the moment, which is, it is what it is, but at the same time, I'd rather it be crappy now 
and get it out of the way so that we can drift in dry weather, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, let's do this. Go set up the car. We've got Damon here. Hey. DJ, what up? This place is already cranking and the gates just opened. It's crazy. It's mayhem. Stalls for days. I love drift over here. Shout out I love drift. What's up? <laughs> XY. What up? Things getting red. Unreal. Australia. Supercharger. V8. How much power? 460 and wheels. That's kilowatts for you American people. That's like, how much horsepower is that? Uh, 600. Yeah. But also 1100 newton meters of torque. Jesus. Yes. Shout out Sharky. All right, so as per usual, Damon turns up and we get the car sorted. Uh, the car's all aligned. It should be good to go. We're just warming it up at the moment. Making sure that everything is all good. Damon's shining his shoes on it. Yeah, feeling good. So many cool cars here. We are about to head out for our first run. I'm feeling good today, I don't know why. I feel confident, so. Epic. The car's running great, which is awesome. This event is going off. There are literally thousands of people here, all to watch drifting. Mad event. All right, so we're taking passengers along for their first ever ride in a drift car, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna head out, do some more laps. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
run. We ran the wheel along the wall and now we smashed it a little bit. Good times. Taking more passengers out for more rides. First time in a drift car. Are you nervous? Slightly, yeah. This is Rowan. Rowan, this is YouTube. Uh, yeah, taking people for the first time in drift cars is always the, my favourite thing because it freaking is the best experience. But uh, please do this, my dude. what could happen but this time it came out good so I'm stoked thanks bro no you're freaking a legend bro Woo! rule number one at any drift event is you have to take Tara in the car while it still works otherwise you get in trouble Love not really oh thank you he watches you but he was too shy to come and say hi YouTube fans hey. what's up bro what's your name Nick 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 is the man I'm gonna put this in my video by the way you're a fucking up. legend man too, thank man. you dude yeah. Woo! That is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. More sessions in the car, see if we can get some tandems with people. Just have a good time.
car's still in one piece, still running, still driving. We lost the wing on the tire wall. That's in the back of the ute now, but other than that, this thing is still good to go. Yeah, round five next Saturday, here we come. Woo, so we're in the car after an insane event. Very, very stoked. Uh, heaps of laps, car's still going great. Uh, and of course, we're getting a kebab because this is what we do after drift events. We come and we grab kebabs because they're delicious and they make us feel very good on the inside. But yeah, shout out Keep It Reap, what a crazy event. Um, also thanks to you guys who came up and told me that you watched the YouTube channel. So many people came up, uh, I did, was actually really blown away by it. So thank you guys all for um, yeah for the support, it's crazy. We're super tired, I don't know if you can tell, but we're gonna go eat our kebabs, go to bed, and go to sleep for like six years. Uh, but of course on Sunday we're going to do the T18, so uh, it's another video and we're just going to keep smashing them out. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at it's Mike Lake, at Tara Romanen if you want to follow Tara as well in her adventures. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Bye. Bye.